now, the DuPont Show of the Month. Crescendo, 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 crescendo. Find your baggage? Ah. Uh, oh, don't you? Are you English? Uh, you're American, are you? Shoot me the info, huh? Uh, I beg your pardon? Start beating your gums and whistle the patter. Uh, would it be in order to call for an interpreter? Sure. Tom, Dick, Harry. Now, ah, maybe we can get somewhere. I'll ask my question again. Look, Mac, are you English? Mac? What do you think? I'm Scots or something? Do you belong to any organization? Uh, organization? I'm a country member of the Reform Club. Is that a communist front organization? Is it a what? Okay, but isn't what's it got to inform? Oh, gracious, I never thought of that. Is it a school or something? Reform school? It has one of the longest waiting lists in England. You have to be rather special to be elected. What have you got to declare? Prejudices? Prejudices? I don't think so. Preconceived, Preconceived notions? notions? Well, a few, perhaps. Such well, as? Well, you're too noisy. He's, He's got, got no music. music. You're too brash. He's, He's got, got no drive. You're too sentimental. He's, He's got, got no heart. heart. You're too demonstrative. He's, He's got, got no gut. No That's enough. You shouldn't have said that. England has stood alone on numerous occasions, and here she is again, hopelessly outnumbered in a custom shed on foreign soil. If necessary, I will fight you on the dockside, in the freight yards, in the elevators, and on the way bridge, but you won't take me alive. The purpose of my journey was simple. I came here on a pilgrimage to visit the places where my ancestors fought in what you chose to call the War of Independence, what's more accurately referred to as the uprising of the colonial. No music, you say. We have Sir Edward Elgar and no drive. I hate speed myself, but I feel constrained to remind you that the fastest vehicles on land, in the air and on the sea are British. In fact, we have the biggest and the best of everything, even if at the moment we don't have enough of it. I don't like New York. It doesn't look a bit like York. So if you'll excuse me, I'll take the next plane home. But only if it's British. Hey, you talk like an American talking about America. What's your name again? Harrison. Harrison? That's my name. Oh, well, you can't all be called Harrison. America has more of everything. But more Harrison? How awful. You're making me feel mass-produced for the first time in my life. Everyone's called Harrison. Oh, we have other names. Winthrop. Present. Radamasha. Present. Rajapani? Present. Yugoslavsky? Present. Papadopoulos? Present. Bernstein? Present. Yamasuto? Present. Oh, I this Harrison business was just sort of an elaborate joke. Joke? It's America. It's the Harrison you left behind when the rest of you were told to get lost. I'm afraid I'm rather hazy about that period of history. At school, we only learned about victories. So did we. Shall I tell you about them? No, I'd rather you didn't. Okay, men. Come here. Now, look. 
He's a tough bird. We've only got one play left. We gotta give him the old one, too. Boys, let's sing it to him. America! America! The good, the bad, the glad, the sad, the fast, the slow, the high, the low, the big, big, big man, the small, 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 rich man, poor man, beggar man, thief, butcher, baker, Indian chief, songs of America, sights of America, bones of America. Good evening, neighbor. I'd like to introduce myself. I'm just plain folks. Come around and make you feel at home. Trying to break the shock. Break the shock? Yeah. yeah. I came here in the first place just uh, because I got kind of an accent. They say I got the nearest thing to an English accent around these parts. <laughs> English accent, though. Not really, if you forgive me saying so. Mind you, Shakespeare spoke a bit like that, if one can believe the experts. Shakespeare? Uh, you've heard of him, of course. Well, it all depends which one you mean. Now, you see, that's my mother's maiden name. I got eight Uncle Shakespeare's. And the uh, way they talk's good enough for me. Now, my Uncle Will, he's the educated one. Uncle Will. He always said that we talk real English around these parts. So I reckon it's us that's got the English accent, not you. <laughs> what are you suggesting I have, then? Well, I don't rightly know, friend. Can't say I've ever heard anything like it before. Great Scott, who's that? Ah, our founding mother, Abstinence Harrison, got burned as a witch in 1695. It was an error. An error? Yeah. Am I safe? Oh. These days, we use up our high spirits and dance, and long about this time, the folks like to gather in the old red barn. You hear them fiddles tuning up? I'm uh, wondering what that noise was. Incidentally, uh... Where am I? Harrisonville. Harrisonville? Now, oh, it's the greatest little town this side of Marblehead Divide. Squeeze box got your foot to tapping? Well, not in the ordinary course of events, but after all, uh, Harrisonville, it's not every day you have a town named after you. <laughs> no. Come on, friends. Oh, Let's join no. in. No, no, no. I'm a bit of a wallflower. I really always have it. It's not so hard. You just do what the caller says. The caller? I can't quite catch what he said. I suppose I just don't understand plain English.
Wouldn't that fun, friend, remind you of home? Oh, I don't think our police, our police ever permit such abandon. <laughs> well, the moments of melancholy reflection, of autumn reverie, that edge of sadness which tempered the gaiety of England's golden age. Can't you just sit, let time pass gently by while stray thoughts chase each other through your mind? Ah. Ever heard of Eddie Arnold? No. Oh, don't you remember sweet Betsy from Pike? She crossed the big mountain with her lover, Ike, with two yoke of oxen and a big yaller dog, and a tall Shanghai rooster and one spotted hog. Diddly I, did I, diddle, diddly I, did I, day. They soon reached the desert where Betsy gave out. And down in the sand she lay rolling about While I can great tears he looked on in surprise Saying, Betsy, get up, you'll get sand in your eyes Dee-dee-dee-I, dee 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 Betsy got up in a great deal of pain She said she'd go back to Pike County again I gave a sigh, then he fondly embraced And they traveled along with his arm round her Diddly-dee-i, did i needle did did i did i day Ike and sweet Betsy went out to a dance. Ike wore a pair of his Pike County pants. Betsy was dressed up in ribbons and rings. Said Ike, you're an angel, but where are your wings? Diddly-dee-i, did i needle did did i did i day A miner said, Betsy, will you dance with me? She answered, I will if you won't make too free. I can't dance too hard, do you want to know why? Because I'm so full of that strong alcohol I can sweet Betsy got married, of course. But Ike was so jealous, he got a divorce. Betsy, well satisfied, said with a shout, Goodbye forever, I'm glad you backed out. Diddle I did I diddle, diddle I did I did. Let's take a ride on this old hay wagon while I point out the site. Oh. Oh, you call this a hay wagon in America, do you? Yes, sir. What do you call it back in England? We call it a stool. Get out, Betsy. By the light of the silvery moon, I want a spoon to my honey of cruel loves too. Honeymoon, 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 keep a shining in June. Your silvery beams will bring love things. We'll be cuddling. And you see that uh, fine outdoors boy? You know who he is? Another Harrison? No, sir. That's a country gentleman. Sonny James. James. Oh, what a relief. Well, I'm in 
bad Well, I made you mad Well, that's made me sad Well, that's bad But now you're talking double And you give me lots of trouble When I try to make a love Well, I had a ball But now I'm taking a fall Cause I hear you call Well, that's all But I will let you leave me, baby If you don't believe me That's why I'm going to do I'm going to grab myself a load of your charms. I'm going to hold on as tight as I can. I'm going to love you, honey, with the both of my thighs. I'm going to show you that I'm a mighty lovable man. A baby, I'm a mighty lovable man. I'm a lovable man. I'm a lovable man. I'm a lovable man. But don't fight, but that's right. I come closer, won't you, honey? Tell me, baby, don't you think that I'm a mighty lovable man? Well, I like you fine, and that's no line. So treat me kind, ease my mind, baby. I'm insisting that you stop, but you're resisting. Really, I'm a mighty lovable man. I'm gonna grab myself a load of your charms. I'm gonna hold on as tight as I can. I'm gonna love you, honey, with the both of my arms. I'm gonna show you that I'm a mighty lovable man. Oh, baby, I'm a mighty lovable man. Oh, baby, I'm a mighty lovable man. I'm a mighty lovable man. Whoa, Bess. Well, friend, here we are, back in Harrisonville. Ah, uh, it's back home. Home? Well, you know, in a way. Uh, thank you very much for your hospitality. How would you like it round these parts? Well, it's very uh, pleasant. If you half close your eyes and totally shut your ears, you might be back in England. You, uh, you drive on the wrong side of the road, of course, but I suppose you had to do that in order to be different, if you see what I mean. This is something which has encouraged the world over by our colonial office. It really doesn't shock me at all. You might, might say it's a little childish, but then... Childishness is half the charm of children. <laughs> <laughs> Are we as much like you as that? Oh, you know you owe absolutely everything to us. American really seems to be rather sort of perverse and prankish form of England. <laughs> sort of English schoolboy's joke. Oh, come, come, come. You must admit I'm right. What's that noise? Cricket. English crickets don't sound like that. <laughs> we got bigger crickets, I reckon. I hope you don't mean by that that England is in any way smaller than America. That would be in rather doubtful taste. Eddie Harrison, you're on your own. Keep your nerve. Steady, boy. Can't see anything in this confounded darkness. Look out! I think you're quite clear. The enemy may not see me. No rifle! I've got my wits. And it's wits, not bullets, that built the empire. The natives are getting ugly. Raging on the forest clearing. Oh! Oh, dear. Oh! Oh, I'll hide behind this, um, this. In a moment, they'll be on me. No good arguing with them. Don't know the lingo. Too proud to learn it. Ah, steady, Harrison. One last fragrant thought of home, the elm tree on the lawn, the church clock, the cold blue eye of your old headmaster. Here they come! A little hacienda where we could spend a weekend and I could pretend that I'm a Chilean to whom you'd lend a couple of millions. It's delightful down in Chile where golden moon is hanging low oh you'd be such a sweet muchacho we could do a lot in chili and it might get hot in chili even while the ocean breezes blow oh day 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 
Mamma mia, ah, she, she, ah, I, I could be beautiful there, wearing a rose in my hair. Don't you think I ought to wear chinchilli? It's not as nice in Piccadilly, or in Brooklyn, or in Philly, or in Raleigh, or in Bali, Bali. Day, 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 day. Day, day. Yes, it would be rather jolly. Day, 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 day. Mamma mia, I see, see, I got a chili on a chili night. Ah, oh, El Harrison, me, though. Just a moment. Where am I? Who are you? El Harrison Mito. Mm -hmm. Oh, Signorita Carol Channing, Ash de la Vista. Uh, I beg your pardon. Ash de la Vista. No, I don't speak English. Uh, would you, would you? I Ding, durste I... pistieta. Uh, not today, thank you very much. Ping, pang, mo de porista. Oh, I don't doubt it. Poor, goody kiu, de mabalata, kim, pokino kim alabal dej, de ba yu I think this is the real reason why so many international conferences break down. Primero instruction. No, no, no. No, really, senorita, I, I can't possibly. But, honey, there's no such word as can't in our vocabulary. Oh, you speak English. Silencio. Oh, no, you don't. I think I'll just rest on this stool. Oh, you're homesick. I suppose I am. There's something about the quality of an English silence that I miss. Oh, well, then I'll just stop talking. No, it's no use. An American silence isn't quite the same thing. It just separates two loud noises. An English step silence is separated by two other silences. You're awfully patriotic. Well, I suppose I am. I, I don't see what Spanish music's got to do with America. After all, it's a well-known fact that you've got everything you have from us. Well, honey, we got everything we have from everybody. And you see, we just made it our own. Well, I could sing you a little song and you'd feel right at home. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. Ah, uh, an English song? That's right. Now, Mary had a little lamb, little lamb. Mary had an oogly eye. Ow, his fleece was white as chip 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 boogie. That was an English American song. That's right. Yeah. Now, Mary had a cha 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 cha. Mary had a cha 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 fleece was white as cha cha cha. That was a Spanish American English song. She she.
being carried about. Where am I? Where am I? Oh. Oh. Harrison, you've lost your temper. All I can say is thank goodness there's no one here to see you. Now, let's take stock. Uh, obviously still in America, haven't crossed any frontiers. The sun never sets on our empire, but it's set here with a vengeance. A man. Without a rifle or even a compass, I have no alternative but to be pleasant. and I've unfortunately lost my way. Well, doesn't understand the lingo either. Uh, je suis anglais, and so forth. Oh, you mean, uh, c'est si bon, mon c'est la vie? No, I don't speak French. Uh, would you guide me to the nearest consulate, please? Perhaps if I showed him my passport, it might help. Uh, this is the relevant passage. Her Britannic Majesty's Principal Secretary of State for Foreign Affairs, a question requires, in the name of Her Majesty and all those who may concern, to allow the bearer to pass freely without let or hindrance. Crazy, Jack. Crazy. No, pull yourself together, man. Is there an oasis where I could get a drink? Taxi is a fairly universal word. Uh, could I get a taxi somewhere? Oh, Dr. Harrison, I suppose. Oh, thank heavens I've been found. <laughs> Taxi! Oh. Oh, I'm so glad it's not a stool. Uh, really, I'm so glad that you, you, you understood my plight. If we're ever in England together, perhaps we might have lunch. Uh, incidentally, where are we going? Uh, to New Orleans. New Orleans? Yeah. I wonder who's consul there now. Lizzie Miles. Lizzie Miles? I can't remember anybody of the consul of that name. She's the greatest jazz singer of our day. Jazz? I've been trapped. Why, you lucky devil you. She is the rock and the roll. Hey, won't you come home, Bill Bailey? Hey, won't you come home? I'm on the whole night long. I'll do your cooking and I'll pay your rent. Have you never had a friend? I remember that rainy night when I threw you out. Fini la maison, mon pleurez-tu la nuit? On va cuire pour vous cher, on va payer le loyer, parce que mon connaît que vous jamais, bien yeah, être sûr. On va appeler le soir la pluie tombée, pour vous vous dire, avec un rien, tu sais faire, chaussette. Mon connaît, c'est moi qui vous donne, les yeux de Louis Chagrécher, mais bien faillé. I like that. That Bill Bailey. My first reaction was that he was a terrible crasher. Tell me, did he ever come home? <laughs> Man, uh, I'd go home every night if Lizzie Miles was there to sing it for me. <laughs> well, what next? Well, Kansas City and... Uh, Chicago. Wait a minute. King of Swing. Look at your Benny Goodman there, man.
pleasant really kind of sets your foot to tap in, don't it? Oh. Uh, where now? Well, uh, it's a paradox, man. It's a paradox. And it's uh, hot and cool. Miss Peggy Lee right there. <laughs> Lullaby of Broadway, the hip hooray and valley. The lullaby of Broadway. The band begins to go to town, and everyone goes crazy. You rock by your baby round till everything gets hazy. Hush a bye, I'll buy you this and that. You hear some daddy say. Someone I know. Who? Old Beetle Frow Harrison. Oh. He's a piano man I once had. You know, talking about the devil, there's Beetle Brow's joint right there.
I've run a mile and three minutes on tiptoe. Uh, tell me, um, Armstrong. Armstrong, what is jazz? I find it the most exhilarating experience. It's halfway between a sport and a massage, a kind of trance for the wide awake. You know one thing? I like the way you talk. Those don't make much sense. But it's so lovely. <laughs> jazz. What is jazz? Oh, well, you take some skin. Jazz begins. There you go. Bop. One that rocks. Take a base. Ah, uh, uh, steady base. Yes. New Orleans horn ball and swinging back. Not a stick, you don't mean. <laughs> Take the bone. Oh, 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 the bone. Take a spot. The one oh, that's hot. Oh. Yeah. Now you have jazz, 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 jazz. jazz. What is this nonsense? Where am I now? You're in the Chisholm Trail Limited on your way to the Golden West. I'm where? On a train. Oh, yes, I am. Don't you know it's dangerous to lean out a window while the train's in motion? Well, stop the train! My advice to you is to sit back and enjoy the journey. We're passing through some of the most glorious scenery in America. Do you mind if we have the window shut? Won't well, be rather stuffy in here. Oh, really? We're going through Indian country now, and I ain't taking no chances. Oh. Oh. I told you that window ought to be shut. Oh, stop the train!
he's dropped his axe, butterfingers. Look out! There's a cowboy coming around the outside! So, where's the umpire? So, it may surprise you to hear me upholding the Indian, sir, but ever since our empire began to dwindle, I've been irrevocably on the side of the underdog. Uh, the Indians are a little short in training. They are, in fact, the lighter side, but they have a sort of instinctive polish which may pull them through. Lovely swing back in the way he brought his body right through with a tomahawk. Ooh, 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 that's a clumsy piece of archery, I must say. Oh, look at that cowboy shooting from his from his kneecap. He can't possibly aim from the. They're doing it. The Indians are doing it. Oh, well done, oh splendid effort! Jolly good luck. Uh, I don't wish to be rude, but you seem to have so little to say, I feel you must have English blood in your veins. Oh, beg your pardon. Shando! Won't you come in, brother? Oh, thank you. I suppose it would be silly to ask where I am. I dreamed last night I got on the boat to heaven And by some chance I had brought my dice along And there I stood And I hollered someone made me But the passengers they knew right from wrong For the people all said sit down Sit down you're rocking a boat People all said sit down Sit down you're rocking a boat And the devil will drag you under By the sharp lapel of your checkered coat Sit down, sit down, sit down Sit down, sit down, you're rocking the boat. I sailed away on that little boat to heaven and by some chance found a bottle in my fist and there I stood nicely passing out the whiskey but the passengers were bound to resist for the people all said beware you're on a heavy trip people all said beware beware you scuttle a ship and the devil will drag you under by the panties I round your wicked throat sit down sit down sit down sit down sit down you're rocking the boat and as I laughed at those passengers to heaven <laughs> a great big wave came and washed me overboard and as I sank and I hollered someone save me that's the moment I woke up Thank the Lord. And I said to myself, sit down. Sit down, you rock a boat. I said to myself, sit down. Sit down, you rock a boat. And the devil will drag you under. With a soul so heavy, you'd never float. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, you rock a boat. Sit down, you rock a boat. 
the troubles I've seen. Nobody knows. Nobody knows the troubles I've seen. Glory, glory,
and done told me when I was in pigtail. My mama done told me, Con, a man's gonna sweet talk and give you the big eye. But when that sweet talk is done, a man is a two thing, a worry. Harrison, waiting oh. so soon? Yes, indeed, Harrison. Um, my voyage of discovery is over. Back to the grind. <laughs> well, we're sorry to have you go. Thank you very much. Oh, what's that, sir? I don't remember you bringing that in. Oh, no, I got that from Harrisonville. It's a, it's a distant aunt of mine, abstinence, Harrison. Uh, there should be a tax on works of art, mm. but I guess she doesn't fall into that category. She's quite one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen. Well, it takes all sorts to make a world. How do you feel about America now? Well, it's rather early to tell. I know better when I've left. I'll send you a postcard from the ship. We have so much in common, and yet I sometimes feel there's a vague difference between us. Whenever I c crack a joke, you laugh so quickly, you can't possibly have seen the joke. It must be just politeness. Don't you believe it. We know you better than you think. I'm talking as a customs officer now. And I'll tell you what we have in common. Uh, first of all, we want to prove we are who we are. That's why I go through your baggage, and that's why you resent it. Afterwards, we all want to have a good time, so that's why we can laugh about it when it's over. <laughs> well, we have a few customs formalities to go through. Yes. Uh, where did you spend the last hour and a half? Um, I saw some country music. Yes. Uh, then I saw some uh, Latin American jazz, uh, Western, uh, blues and religious. No musical comedy? No, no. Well, here. Take this ticket and go see the kind of thing we laugh at about you. No, no, no. I haven't got time. Sure you have. The boat's been delayed by fog. Fog? You mean you've taken that away from us, too? <laughs> you know, that I find very funny. Oh, do you? Oh, I'm delighted. Thank you very much for the ticket. Now, mention it. Oh, thank you.
kiss on the hand may be quite continental, but diamonds are a girl's best friend. A kiss may be grand, but it won't pay the rental on your humble flat. Or help you at the automat. Men grow cold as girls grow old, and we all lose our charms in the end. But square, cut, or pear shape, these rocks don't lose their shape. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. There may come a time when a lass needs a lawyer, but diamonds are a girl's best friend. There may come a time when a hard-boiled employer thinks you're awful nice. But get that ice or else no dice. He's your guy when stocks go high. But beware when they start to descend. It's then that those louses go back to their spouses. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Those rocks in your strong box, for on them you can always depend. It's not compensation, it's self-preservation. Diamonds are girls. Best friend, I don't mean rhinestone. in the morning ding dong the bells are gonna chime pull out the stopper let's have a walk out but get me to the church on time i got to be there in the morning spruced up the looking in me prime girls come and kiss me show how you'll miss me but get me to the church on time if I am dancing, roll up the floor. If I am whistling, let me out the door. For I get married in the morning. Ding dong, the bells are going to chime. Kick up a rumpus, but don't lose the compass. And get me to the church, get me to the church. For God's sake, get me to the church. and mail me, but get me to the church on time. I gotta be there in the morning. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bruised up to look in my pride. Some bloke who's able, lift up the table, and get, get me to, to the church, church on time. If I am flying, they shoot me down. If I am wooing, get out of town. Let's 
the may to eat. Not so cold, my king, not so beat. Warm fights, warm and warm feet, and wood me be lovely. Oh, so lovely, sitting at the blooming lonely still. I would never budge till spring crept over me windowsill. Someone dead resting on my knee, warm and tender as he can be. Who takes good care of me? Test farewells because I, I get acutely embarrassed of any show of emotion. I, I, I would like to say that my, my, my visit to this country has been an experience, um, uh, and I, I find it very difficult to express my, my, my intense. Um, um, I, well, I hope you believe me when I say that, 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 that all in all, and, 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 and by and large, and I. Uh, well, goodbye. Bye. <laughs> What are you doing sitting on that stool out in the ocean? Stool? Don't be ridiculous. This is the pride of Her Majesty's merchant fleet. May I take your order, sir? Ah. Uh, the oxtail soup is highly recommended, and the lamb with mint sauce is the chef's suggestion for a main course, with the steamed cabinet pudding as a sweet. No, 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 thank you. I can clam chowder to start with, and a medium rare hamburger with, cold, with coleslaw on the side, a jumbo sized deep dish apple pie with spumoni, and some bourbon on the rocks. Mr. Harrison, what has come over you? What's come over me? America. I've grown accustomed to her face. She almost makes the day begin. I've grown accustomed to the tune. She whistles night and noon. Her smiles, her frowns, her ups, her downs are second nature to me now. Like breathing out and breathing in. I was serenely independent and content before we met. Surely I could always be that way again. And yet, I've grown accustomed to her look, accustomed to her voice, accustomed to her.
titles by John Hoppe.